Welcome once more to Restoration Revival. My prayer is the Lord would bless you immensely, even as we study the word of the Lord together today in this session. We're going to look at in this session and maybe the next session and the session after that, we're going to look at the benefits of a spiritual mind. We're not sure how many sessions it's going to take, but we have to look into this matter of the mind in this season. As you look around you and what's happening in the world right now with this COVID-19 and the pandemic that is going to all the countries and killing people all over the earth. And uh, we have to take our stand as children of God because nothing the world has to fight with. Besides the children of God, those that believe in Christ Jesus, we have weapons of warfare. The first place and the first thing is our spiritual minds. There are great benefits in having a spiritual mind. There are great, great, great benefits in having a spiritual mind. You know, there are some opposites to a spiritual mind. You get a carnal mind, and then you get a religious mind, and then you get a circular mind. The circular mind is what we need to pay a little attention to in these sessions, because it is more dominant than the carnal mind and even the religious mind. Okay, the carnal mind draws its conclusions, you know, very easily. The religious minds draw its conclusions very easily. But it's the secular mind that, that thrives on information and lives on that level. So we're going to take a, a, a bit of a time looking into the secular mind. You know, everything in life is about decision. It's about us making the right decisions. And, and you know, right now, our heart and our faith and our acceptance of what God has done for us through Christ Jesus is the most important decision any human being can make on the planet during this difficult time here on earth. God has never left us as orphans. We are not destitute. We have privileges as children of God. We have great benefits if we keep a spiritual mind. Now, here in the book of Deuteronomy, you know, uh, chapter 30, verse 19, just one verse of scripture. And this is what it says. He says, I, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Isn't that a good choice to make? So it's a powerful portion of scripture, and I believe this decision is left, left, up, to, left up to every individual on the earth. We have to decide. So the scripture is very powerful. It says, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you. So in other words, heaven stands as witness, earth stands as, as witness that God has given us privileges and, and, a, and the power of choice. And what we do with the power of choice is very important. That I have set before you life and death. Okay, you have a choice. You have life and you have death. And then you have blessing and then you have cursing. But the scripture encourages us Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. You know, many people live their life as, you know, this is life. Whatever comes around, goes around. You know, whatever will be, will be. No, that's not true. Life is about decisions. And if you make the correct decision, you shall live. If you make the correct decision, you shall be blessed. So you have choices and you have to choose. You have to come to a point of making a decision. So there are great, great, great blessings and benefits in having a spiritual mind. And the opposite is 
is some things that we've got to deal with, but we're going to look at the secular mind. But before we go into that, in Romans chapter 8, verse 6, and this is what the scripture says, for to be carnally minded, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. I mean, you can't get it as clear as that. To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That is what everybody is looking for at this time on the earth. They're looking for life and peace. Peace is something that doesn't fall on your lap accidentally. Peace is something that is owned. It is owned. And you know, for those that believe in Christ Jesus, I want you to know as we read from the scriptures in Isaiah 53, for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, all our sinful inheritance. And the chastisement, the punishment of our peace was upon him. And by his wounds, you were healed. So in other words, someone has paid for your peace. Jesus Christ is your peace and my peace personified. Jesus Christ is your life and he is my life personified. I draw from him and I encourage you today to draw from the fountain of life and to draw from the fountain of peace. You see, people, this is possible if you maintain a spiritual mind. A carnal mind draws its conclusions rapidly because it makes its judgment based on a, on a carnal mind. Not, and not a mind that is based on life and peace, but a life that is based on corruption and all the other negative things, on curses and on death. That is why the carnal mind, there's death. To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is to have life and peace. So one of the things that we're going to look at quickly in this session, we're not sure whether we'll complete it, is the secular mindset. The secular mindset is everywhere. Every turn you take, you will find people with a circular mind. Now, the circular mind and the carnal mind are not the same. The, 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 the carnal mind, as I said, draws its conclusions rapidly regarding life, regarding events in life. And, you know, there's no hope in a carnal mind, so to speak. And then you've got the religious mind that just waits, you know, and performs some rituals and, and whatever will be, will be. That's a religious mind. And then you look at a, a secular mindset. A secular mindset is a mindset that follows a circle of thoughts or trends. The circle of thoughts and trends that are in this world. Not necessarily the circle of thoughts and trends that comes from the Bible. See, that is the big difference between a spiritual mind and a secular mind. Okay, a spiritual mind draws its information and draws its strength and draws its boldness and very easily takes the word of God and converts it into faith. That is a spiritual mind. The carnal mind is not an absolute, absolutely evil mind. No, it's not an anti-Christ mind. It's not a mind that is a mind that is against God and, 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 and spiritual things. All right, but it follows a circle of thoughts. It follows a circle of trends on the earth. All right, it shows and it gives much attention to what people are saying and doing. In fact, that, that, is, that is the main thing in, in, a, in a mind that is based on, 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 on a circular mindset. That is the most important thing of what people are doing. Well, you know, what are they saying? Uh, how are they reacting? So, so, so much attention, in fact, most of their attention 
uh, is given to what people are saying and what people are doing and what people are dressing and what people where people are going and it's it's all about that so that is basically the pattern of a circular mind okay it's not necessarily as i said an evil mind okay it's not an anti god or an anti christ mind all right a very high percentage of christians church folks even preachers operate with a circular mind the interpretations when you hear the interpretations even of scripture and you hear the way they would preach it or even teach it you want to know where is that coming from because in a circular mind there is not much depth you do not have to have much depth at least you can explain some things away you can get away with it so there's a very high percentage of jesus people loving people caring people as i said they're not evil because they have a circular mind no there are other things that they draw from besides the fountain of life himself who is jesus christ besides drawing from the fountain of peace himself you know besides drawing from the living word of god they draw information from that those the circles that they are part of in this world okay so they follow those trends they follow those circle of thoughts and everything in their lives even if they have to do battle you know with a sickness or with a disease or with a uh, going through a bad patch in life or or dealing with the economy everything is just based on the information that they are getting you know through through social media and through uh, television programs and through chat shows and all of that they draw from there that is the main source of information uh, to these people it, it it's a mind uh, the, the circular mind is a mind that feeds itself on the information from others and the, and today in the 21st century the 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 medium of the or rather the source of this information mostly comes through social media okay if you if you uh, uh, go on the social media uh, channels and platforms you would see everybody is got something to say and much of what is being said is repeated over and over okay or it's being doctored a little bit and sent through and then you know uh, the 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 circular mind thrives on this it draws from this so in other words it's it's no it knows what someone is saying in another country somewhere if you go to youtube it's the same thing everybody has an idea of what you must do about this and what you must do about that and people are so eccentric you know in the way they share those messages and those videos people get bought into it and especially a person uh, uh, with a circular mind because a circular mind thrives on logic all right they thrive on logic and if you must understand this today as a child of god if you want to maintain a spiritual mind you must understand a spiritual mind is a mind of faith it's not a mind of logic okay it doesn't dwell on logic there are many things that you will you will expect to do expected to do with a spiritual mind because your mind is drawing from the fountain of life your mind your spiritual mind is drawing from the fountain of peace in your mind your spiritual mind the most dominant factor is the word of god so the the circular mind has a problem it cannot convert the word of god into faith and trust I mean I meet people all the time I mean, I I know you do as well people at certain church uh, all of the time and all of the meetings some of them even attend bible colleges some them some of them even preach but they do it all with a secular mindset that is why and 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 it's not like they don't know the bible they even quote you scriptures they even take down notes when they are sitting in a service but to convert that into faith and into trust they have a serious problem now for convenience sake you know and to uh, you know at times they will even quote a scripture but to live that scripture to believe that scripture to pronounce that scripture to declare that scripture it is so difficult to convert that into faith 
So you see, a secular mind, a secular mind is occupied and preoccupied with the events in the world, with information that is being bombarded with, that the mind is being bombarded with. But a spiritual mind, however, thrives on the Word of God. You would hear two different things from two different people. A person with a circular mind will tell you what others are saying. They'll tell you what they watched on a, in a particular social channel. They'll tell you what that professor said and what that health official said and what this government is saying and what that person is saying. But when you speak to somebody with a spiritual mind, a spiritual mind will say, Jesus Christ is Lord. And I believe by his wounds I am healed, I was healed, and I will remain healed. A spiritual mind will say, in heaven right now, on that mercy seat of God, is the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, that speaks more for me every single day. No sickness and no disease shall enter my abode, shall enter my home, shall enter my property, shall enter my body. Can you see the difference? A spiritual mind thrives on the word of God. And everything that comes into a spiritual mind from God's word, it is so easy for a person with a spiritual mind to convert the word of God, the living word of God, into faith and into trust. But a secular mind depends on what other people are saying. So let me help you today. Switch your phone off from all of the social media information you're getting on a daily basis. I have researched this in the past few weeks and I found out that that information you're getting on your phone every day regarding COVID-19 is a medium of transfer from the enemy. You don't need those, that information. You have all the information you need from God's word about you, about yourself, about your job situation, about your finances, about your health. You got all of that information from God's living word. You don't have to hear what your neighbors are saying and what someone is posting on, on some uh, social media network. No, no, you need the word of God. So you need to train yourself. You need to make a decision today that you'll not be a person with a secular mind, but you'll be a person with a spiritual mind and you will make a choice. You will make a choice. I'm not talking about just quoting a scripture because a secular mind can do that. At any given time, it can just quote you a scripture. But my Lord, living that scripture, praying that scripture, calling on God, you know, in faith, based on that scripture is such a difficult thing to do. Because people, even with a secular mind, secular mind is quite dangerous because it produces a kind of a lukewarmness in a person. At one time they would see that they know where they're going, but most times they don't know where they're going because they're on the fence. And it's a dangerous place to be when you're lukewarm because you're neither hot nor cold. You're neither here nor there. So a secular mind will not permit you to make a decision and jump off that wall and make the right decision to be on the right side. Because a secular mind does not, is not a mind that does not pray. A secular mind even reads the word and listens to messages. But nothing registers. It doesn't register. Okay? It doesn't register inside. Even a, a secular mind even sows seeds, but does not expect, expect an harvest. It reads the Bible, but doesn't expect anything out of it. It hears a message, but doesn't expect anything out of it. That is the condition of a circular mind. But a spiritual mind, a spiritual mind expects great things. Because that is what the scripture teaches. And my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. I am blessed in the heavenly realms with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. And I am blessed and the blessings of the Lord makes me rich and it has no sorrow. Can you hear that? That's coming from a spiritual mind. That's coming from a mind that believes those quotations from the scripture. That com that's coming from a mind who lives and thrives on that because that is the word of the living God. Come, let us pray right now. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for our people all over that is listening to this message. 
I thank you, sweet, wonderful, precious Holy Spirit, for you are watching over this word of faith to bring it alive in the hearts of our people all across, wherever they're listening, in every country, Lord. May this word of God ignite a flame in them. May they make a decision, O oh God, to have a spiritual mind in the mighty name of Jesus. And right now, you COVID demon, I come against you by the blood of the Lamb. I curse you from your roots in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse you out of the bodies of our people right now. And I declare them healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I ask you, Father, may you bless them indeed. Amazingly, powerfully, supernaturally, O oh God, even beyond measure today. May you protect them by the blood of the Lamb. And I thank you for every partner as well that partners with this ministry. I release, O oh God, a supernatural harvest of blessings over their lives today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. If you feel free in your heart right now or today or any other time that you want to be a partner in this ministry, if you look up on our website, on our page, you would find there's links. Okay. There's a First National Bank link for all the South African uh, partners. And there's also a PayPal link for the international. So as you feel free in your heart, whatever you have in your mind, to sow. The Bible says you must determine in your heart what you would sow. But God is faithful today and every seed is blessed and it shall bring forth an harvest for you in Jesus' holy name. Amen.